Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDNT Basics video question line. Today's topic is profile of a surface with no datums involved. And today's question was, I have a form only profile of a surface callout and it has no callout to a datum on the drawing. Without a datum referenced in the feature control frame, should my CMM measurement for max and min be the same as the deviation from the target? Or is it normal to have varying deviation from the target my thinking is that the CMM should be working on the best fit and centering the measured profile versus the nominal profile. Let's take a look at how the profile of a surface callout is functioning with this simple example here. Now, this first example is showing us here on this feature control frame, we do have datums referenced. And so profile of a surface can either have datums referenced or not. When they are referenced, we are defining true profile with respect to those locations. So in other words, for this feature control frame here, we're controlling the nose of this part. Or in other words, we know where this surface should be with respect to datums A, B, and C. So if datums are being controlled and we need to report the deviation, let's say we have a point that exists out here and a point that exists in here. Otherwise, everything seems to be pretty close to the nominal. Those are our worst case points. You can see this one deviated five thousandths away from nominal and this one deviated five thousandths away from nominal on the other direction. So our highest to lowest point with respect to the true profile, which is located to the datums, the total difference between the high and low is ten thousandths. So in this scenario, we would report deviation of ten thousandths. However, if we only had deviation in one direction, in other words, we saw that the highest point was to that point only, and there wasn't a whole lot of deviation in the negative direction, we would still report 10 thousandths of profile deviation, even though the highest to lowest point might have only been 5 thousandths. And the reason we report 10 thousandths in this scenario is because we not only care about the form or the high to low, but we also care about where that form happened with respect to true profile. And so just like in true position, we need to double or understand the total zone that exists center at true profile that captures the entire measured surface. So again, this, even though our high to low is only five thousandths, we are reporting ten thousandths of profile deviation. And that is because we do care about location. As we see over here, we've referenced datum features. Now, what changes this a little bit as far as reporting is when we drop off datum features from the feature control frame. Now you see this same surface is only being controlled to 10 thousandths with respect to itself only, or in other words, just form is being controlled. So if only form is being controlled, this tolerance zone is unrestrained with respect to any other features on the drawing. And so the tolerance zone can move quite a bit in translation up, down, left, right, as well as the rotation. And so if our rotation can move and our translation can move, well, our surface in its location and its orientation with respect to all of the other features on the drawing are completely unconstrained. And so our tolerance zone can chase that surface. And as long as the entire surface can be inside that tolerance zone, we've met our profile specification. And in this scenario, we are truly only reporting high points to the low points. We don't care about where the form happened with respect to, to the location of the true profile. It is truly just we fit a best fit plane to this and we report the highs to the lows. In other words, match it, like the question said, to the best fit or centering it on the nominal profile. So we, we center the nominal profile in its shape and size, not its location, but we center in its shape and size and then we can measure the, the high to low based on that profile. So it should be centering up on that nominal profile. How close to perfectly uh, radius of 1.7 did we get? Now, a little bit easier to picture is when we picture this on a flat planar surface. So here we see, again, this top surface is being controlled, the datum features A, B, and C. And we are controlling that true profile back to those datum reference frames. We know this surface should exist right here. That means the surface can either deviate up five thousandths or down five thousandths. However, if it deviates up five thousandths only, we still report that ten thousandths of deviation because it's with respect to that true profile. This is reporting ten thousandths of profile deviation as would if we deviated up five thousandths and down five thousandths as well. 
even though the form error is 10 thousandths, we need to consider the form error where it happened with respect to the true profile. Again, just like we saw on the radial surface, however, if we remove datum features from the feature control frame, we can see that we are no longer controlling the location or orientation of this surface, and the tolerance zone can adapt to that as well. And so we can see our surface can exist something like this. And in this scenario, we fit the true profile unrestrained to any of the other features, which is in this case is a flat planar surface. And then we measure the low to the high. And we simply report the max and min as it is with respect to the nominal profile, which in this case is just simply a flat planar surface. So hopefully this helps answer your question and thanks for submitting. Our goal is to be your best source for GDNT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDNT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDNT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDNT and print reading quizzes. Download helpful charts and access articles written by training experts.